In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to share your voice threads. We're going to continue using the voice thread that we've created in this section of the course. So by hovering over the voice thread that I would like to share, it brings up some options at the bottom, including the share button. Now there are many ways to get to the share screen. This is just one of them. So by clicking on that, I get to the share the voice thread screen. We can check who currently has access by clicking on the who has access tab. And we can see that it is a private voice thread shared with only me who is its creator. Now, if we go back to the secure tab in the sharing of the voice thread, we can actually add different contacts. So if you're only supposed to send it to your instructor, you can click on contacts and you can add their contact by clicking the plus sign. So just simply add your instructor's email and their name and click save. They will then appear here in the bottom and by clicking on their name, you can select what you would allow them to do that they can view and comment on your voice thread or you can add edit as well. You can notify them by email by having this selected and then clicking by share. So in a few moments we should see a notification pop up on the screen letting me know that uh, I have shared this voice thread with myself. So another way of doing it is by sharing it with groups. Now these are your groups here on the selection screen and you can share it with entire courses or just the individual group that you happen to be in. So for me, I'm going to share it with my course, Tully Sandbox. And in this, I'm going to allow them to view and comment my voice thread. And I will go ahead and click on share. So now if I happen to look at who has access, I click on that and I can see that I've shared it with my instructor, who is me. And I've also shared it with a group or my course, Tully Sandbox. So this just makes sure that I know that I've, who I've shared it with and what permissions they have. And there is the email notification letting me know that someone has shared a voice thread with me. You can also share it publicly by going to the basic uh, uh, tab in this share voice thread. And you can copy the link, embed it, or post it to a site, whichever you wish. But most of your time is going to be spent in the secure tab and double checking who you've shared it with in the who has access area.